Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making the instant pot spicy version of the kaibi gym that we made last week. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. These are the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. It's pretty much the same but a little different with our red pepper flakes and red pepper paste. If you guys watched last week's episode, then it's basically the same thing here. We're just trimming off all of the fat and we're gonna let it soak in cold water for at least 30 minutes, letting all the blood drain so we don't have that smell or flavor in our meat when we cook it. Again, last week what we did was basically have all of our ingredients cut up and put right inside of our pot, right? But this time we are going to blend most of our ingredients all together. As you see here, I'm going to be using pretty much the exact same ingredients, except this time we are going to blend everything up. So my half of an onion I chopped up beforehand and just threw it in there with our one inch ginger. Again, I just cut that in half just to make sure everything blends nicely when I do start blending everything together. Adding my peppers, my uh, sugar as well, the soju, the soy sauce, my seven garlics, and this is the different part where we're, what we're gonna be doing here. I have a half a tablespoon, so I'm doubling everything up here, but it's one tablespoon per each of the red pepper flakes and the red pepper paste. Adjust as needed, this is like a spicy version, so obviously this is gonna be a spicier dish. If it's too spicy for you, just reduce the amount to whatever it is that you can tolerate. If you want it to be even more spicy, go ahead and add some more spice to it. All I'm going to do now is just close everything up and start blending away and then you guys will see how nicely the sauce comes out when it's blended. You really can't tell that I'm blending anything here, but I am blending because if you saw my little button go up and down, but there's my sauce. Isn't that nice and lovely? So we're going to have this set aside while we get back right to our meat. So remember, at least 30 minutes is what you want to do. Go ahead and drain everything rinse it off and then we're going to throw this right into the bar right into our instant pot and if you notice here i am wiping off the fatty stuff right around the sides of the instant pot i'm not taking everything out to wash it i am just going to rinse everything through drain it again rip off any extra pieces of fat that, that may have softened up and then i will have to cut all of these up into like thirds or fours whatever it is that you prefer and then we're going to get to cooking Make sure to go ahead and cover up your meat with the water as long as the water is all covered up over the meat we don't want to have like several inches of water above that just enough to cover right over it and that's all you really need to get this started now excuse my shakiness here but all i'm going to do is high pressure cook it for 10 minutes we're going to start off with that before we parboiled it, but this time we are going to high pressure cook it for 10 minutes. And then once that's done, we are going to go ahead and quick release it, meaning you just go ahead and make sure you've turned that vent towards you so it will quickly release the steam. Once that's done, go ahead and take everything out so we can get rid of all the fatty stuff that's in there. Rinse everything out again, making sure you wipe around the pot as well. Throw everything right back into your pot, and this time we are going to cook this with our sauce. Now the reason why we're doing it this way, instead of the whole 30-40 minutes that we did last time with the original one, is because we want this to be spicy, so we're going to go ahead and cook this to be spicy for another 10 minutes on high pressure. So go ahead and mix these flavors up together, and then we're just going to go ahead and close it up and cook it for another high pressure 10 minutes, same method as we originally started with. And just make sure you close that vent back so that it is cooking and it is sealed and locked. And then we'll continue on. Now while that's cooking, go ahead and start chopping up the veggies that you need for the pot because that's going to go in the next round. All right, 10 minutes later, this is done. So we're gonna go ahead and quick release again. And then we're going to carefully open up our lid and make sure that steam doesn't hurt us in any way whatsoever. Here's the visual of what we're looking at now with the spicy sauce right into our meat. Go ahead and grab your veggies that are chopped up. Go ahead and throw that end right into the pot. Give everything a good mix. And then same thing as before. High pressure, vent closed, 10 minutes. 
and that's it. All right, 10 minutes later, we're gonna go ahead and open this up very carefully because of that steam. Again, please don't hurt yourself in this process. Open that lid away from you. Grab your sesame seed oil. It's a teaspoon of this is all you need. Just pour that right inside of your pot as well as your green onions. Once everything is inside of your pot, go ahead and give everything a good mix. And all you need to do now is go ahead and get ready to have everything served on a nice little plate for yourself and your family. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. Until the next meal, thank you again for watching. Watch me cook.